Hi, this is Kelly Hine. Do you value following what feels good to you? Society doesn't teach us to do this, but the best things that I have ever done have been a result of me following my heart in terms of what feels good to me. Now, I'm not talking about following some sort of instant gratification. Society doesn't teach us to follow what feels good to us because there's that concern that you will end up doing something wrong or something selfish or something that's not good for you or for others. But learning that there's a big difference between following what feels good in terms of feels good to you right now in your head, your, your physical desires, following that need for instant gratification, there's a big difference between that and tuning into that deeper knowing of what is good for you, following your heart, your soul's calling. That is what we need to be doing. Tuning into the whisperings of our soul, we don't tend to grow up learning to value that or how to do that. And instead, we grow up learning how to look to others for what we need to be doing. Look to how can I please others? How can I do things that will impress others? And there's this looking outside of ourselves for what we should be doing. But our true mission is to learn to follow your intuitive, heart-centered whisperings of your soul. That's where the answers are. And that is what I'm talking about when I say, follow what feels good. Truly, deeply in your heart what feels right and good for you. So if you ask yourself the question, do I value following what feels good and right to me? Not in this instant gratification kind of sense, but in my heart and soul. Do I value that? Could I learn to value that over and above valuing what I think others want of me or what I think other people would like me to do or what might impress others. How could you start to shift your focus more and more to following, first of all, listening to and then following what feels right in my heart? I believe there's nothing more important than you that you could be asking yourself and following than your heart's deepest desires. So I hope that this inspires you to remember, to start to listen to that little voice that you cannot hear when you're busy in your head. You need to allow space to tune into the whisperings of your soul and follow what truly feels good to you in your heart. And I promise you that the decisions that you make from this place will be the best decisions you could ever make. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to sign up for my email updates and get my free meditation made easy video and my beautiful five minute express meditation. I will catch you next time.